I am on a mission to change every single structure in Minecraft. Last week, I changed the pillager outpost. This week, I'm working on the igloo. So here we have the top of the igloo because it's in three parts. You have the top, then you have like the ladder section, and then you have the, the basement down below. Uh, so it's kind of Taj Mahal-ish, um, more jung uh, desert temple type-esque than an actual like igloo. Um, I know I have like quartz stairs and soul lanterns, which are nether items, but I mean, if I didn't have the stairs or the slabs then I would have no white stairs or slabs. Snow layers can't be placed on a bunch of things, but I used them where I could. Uh, I also placed uh, powdered snow in a couple places so you might fall through, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so this is pretty much the main top section uh, for the updated igloo. I quite like it, it's quite large. Uh, interior is very simple, kind of just archways and a door. This door leads to nothing but a stack of powdered snow. If you have leather boots on, you can kind of just go up it like an elevator. And you'll be up here with chest loot and whatnot. There's a fair bit of powdered snow around, so you could you could fall through quite a few spots. Now, one thing I forgot about while building this is because the igloo is an older structure, it does not have access to jigsaw block uh, compatibility. Which basically means that I'm limited to the 48 by 48 by 48, which is fine. This totally fits in that. But it also means that I can't connect other structures, such as the stairs or the basement, uh, in the specific spot and orientation that I want. So I have to basically just rely on Minecraft's basically hard-coded uh, positions Um that it has for its structures because like even things like in cities don't use jigsaw blocks um but they still connect however they do because it's hard coded and where new villages they use jigsaw blocks so you can easily change those size and everything um so i think it's hard coded on where it was originally so it should be somewhere in this tower so i'm hoping i can just like add doors here to make that symmetrical and then I can just have the ladder uh, somewhere around here and it goes down to the basement but speaking of the basement I need to make that now So here we have the basement area, which will connect somewhere on the igloo. I'm not sure where yet. Uh, ah, it's a great box. Amazing. Look at this box. 10 out of 10 box. Uh, obviously, it's stuff on the inside that matters. So it's quite dungeon-y. Um, I threw some bookshelves around, some cobwebs. I absolutely love glowberries. They are the greatest because they are like actual three-dimensional vines rather than just the ones that stick on the wall even though they technically aren't really three-dimensional they're still just two planes but whatever it's fine uh how to add the brewing stand because that's normally in the basement you have two cell type things one for the zombie villager and one for the regular villager over here uh used a little bit of moss i mean it's overall fairly simple but i think it gets a a, a dungeon-esque weird basement vibe it's quite like it yeah and just a random pile of snow and frosted or uh, powdered snow that if you fall in you you can't get out of unless you break the block it's powdered snow is like actually like really annoying it's kind of ridiculous 
But yeah, so let me throw this in game, see how it spawns and all that. All right, so here we are in game and after some finagling on positioning for the basement, I think I got it. Now, another thing that's a consequence of it being an older structure is that it doesn't have the land terraforming feature that newer structures do have. So it is a possibility for this thing to be floating like quite a bit off of a ledge and I can't stop that because I need jigsaws, man. Jigsaws are so important. Like, oh my gosh. But yeah, so it's a big, huge difference from uh, <laughs> the old igloo that used to be just like that big and tiny. So now when you walk in, you're greeted with this. There is the symmetrical doors. There's loot. Uh, this is normal igloo, igloo loot table. And then you can open these doors and actually go down into the basement. Ladder's broken, obviously goes straight down into the basement here which we already showed there's even more loot and more loot and then wow that one's just apples oh my gosh uh obviously those are random because it's actual loot table uh you know you can get your your potion of weakness splash it on the guys that have uh d they despawned because i sat here for like 12 minutes this guy's here yo what up actually the difficulty might be peaceful i don't know <laughs> he will spawn though but this guy definitely will spawn and he can he'll probably just go straight to this lectern no dude dude hey yeah multi-shot not terrible but yeah so this is a fully upgraded igloo uh certainly better than what it used to be you might actually want to seek this out now, considering it has sea lanterns too, and some deep slate. But, um, I mean, <laughs> I can't limit my block palette too much. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, it was, at least for the igloo. It's kind of ridiculous if I do. There's pretty much no blocks I can use. But yeah, you can see a bit of the land issues here. Um, obviously, it spawned on this lower side. So, part of the thing is underground so if I dig this out you can see the stairs and these are actually snow layers on trap doors part of the build so yeah I hope you guys did like this video you can download this thing uh, in the link in the description below on my website more structure changes are coming very soon so be sure to stay tuned for that uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now